Hello there, welcome to another episode of the Skella Steve Show. I'm your host, Skella Steve. And live from the unknown, the unknown being, I think I'm in Franklin right now, Franklin, Farmington area. So what's on my mind today? Uh, I was going to talk about more of me. You know you're fucking sick of hearing about me. Oh well. We'll continue on with the conversation about more. So anyways, I was talking about my bike last time, about my Yamaha Roadstar. And um, I was going to talk about how long I've been riding for. About six years now. And how I started was, for the longest time, I've always wanted a bike. I can't remember what influenced me, what I, what made me got into it, but I, I don't recall really. At one point, it was um, I wanted a cross track. I remember when I was younger. I was in high school, and I wanted to get a cross track. It. I love the Yamaha R series, the R sixes and the R ones. Were such beautiful bikes. They were my, they're, they, they're, they were my favorite at the time. And I just like for the longest time I wanted one. And then when I got to of age in my early 20s, I started like just changing my opinion. It became more of like you know I started liking like cruiser styles and Harley's. Nice. I, I come to realize I'm like, man, I kind of want both. I want to go on the days of you know zipping around and days of like going out in the country and cruising and I wanted both and then I tried to I did try a rocket I did try you know sport bike and I just uh, you know this was down the road too and I tried I did this I sat on it I put around on it just to me like I don't know I wasn't comfortable with it I know some people love it some people are comfortable some people like it they love going fast they like all that but it was never meant for me well one day who knows but anyways back to how it started for me so I remember this it came from buying the idea was to buy both a Harley and a and a Crunch Rocket well then it became more so of just getting a uh, so it would be nice to let this guy get through come on oh you're turning I thought you were getting over what's wrong with me oh <laughs> oh Silly skeleton, you got that all wrong. Anyways, um, yeah, so I, I, I ended up falling in love with the Harley V Rod, and I thought, hey, best of both roads, roads, worlds, and roads too. And I was like, man, fast, beautiful cruiser, sign me up for this. Sign me up for that. And then, you know, as I was looking, I think I was like 23. And, you know, I was getting ready to, to do all that to get my, my permit and to get my uh, my endorsement and get a bike. And I I remember I go to my buddy Jesse's house and all of a sudden I go there and in the driveway, it's this beautiful bike. It's this nice bike. And I'm like, oh, what is that? And I get closer to it. And at first, for some reason, I thought it was a V-Rod or a Night Rod special. I thought it was a Night Rod special. And... To be fair, at the time, and I didn't, I don't have good. Well, now I do. I have good eyesight now because of surgery. But back then, I didn't. What is then? I get closer. I'm like that's not it. And I look, and it's a Kawasaki Vulcan 900 Custom, and it's, it was black, black down, black and orange, and it was a beautiful bike. And all, and I go inside, and I found, uh, I see that there's this guy named Oz there. Oz, I used to. Oh, now look, now we're in Franklin. But Oz, I remember him from high school. You know, and. He joined the military, he came back, and I was like, hey man, is that your bike? He goes, yeah. I was like, that's a beautiful bike. He goes, thank you. I was like, I th I'm stupid, and I thought it was a Harley Night Rod. He goes, I wish it was a Harley Night Rod, but it's still a great bike. And I was explaining to him how much I wanted to ride. So we go, we go out, and you know, we go outside later, you know, we're all about to leave, and all of a sudden he tosses the keys to me and goes, uh, get on there. I'm like, what? He goes, get on the bike and ride. You want to learn how to ride? You want to ride a bike? I'm going to teach you how to ride a bike. 
So he was the friend that pushed me because you know I was still timid about riding one, but he was the one that pushed me. Even though I had the the, pan, the, plan, the plan in place to to get the bike, to, to you know get the endorsement, get the well, get the permit, get the endorsement, and get the and uh, get the bike, but I did I I needed the the the, oomph, the push, and he was the one that did it, and I thank him for helping me out, and it was uh, all good from there, you know. And then I ended up buying that V-Star 650 as my first bike. <laughs> uh, he actually went with me. He went with me. It was several months after I saw that bike. You know, because I got... In March of 20, 2014, when I was 24, I got my... I got my... Uh, I got my permit. With the second state, got my permit. Then we went and bought it. We, we went and bike shop, and then he went with me. It was on Good Friday. And I went, we got the, we, I looked at the bike, I fell in love with it, bought it. And ever since then I've been riding and I've been enjoying the hell out of it too. I love every second of it. And then how Skeletal Steve came about, that was just Steve at the time. All I did was bought a mask and that's how Skeletal Steve became today. He got comfortable, he got a mask, he said hell yeah, I... I am Skella Steve. Enough of that rambling for now. But yeah, you know, I hope that uh, if you're not, if you haven't rode, if, if you're thinking about riding a bike, do it. Get the bike, do it. It's, it's, it is a, it's a great feeling. It, two, they always say two wheels move the soul and it's the truth. It's, it's the whole hard truth about it, you know. It's it's the best. It's when I'm on it, it's the best feeling. You know, if I was ever down on the, in the dumps, I ever uh, felt like you know, just felt like crap. I, I whenever time I get on my bike, I felt the best. Felt so happy. Felt so alive. And it's it just became my hobby. You know, and I knew I'd like it, but I didn't know I really would like it this much because I've always was a car guy. You know, and I've always wanted you know cars. I've always wanted fast cars, but then. And I got the bike, just something in me switched, and it's like I want more bikes than cars. I still want some some cars, like some of my dream cars. Like I want an Oldsmobile 442 one day. I mean, I, got, I had a Cutlass one time, a 70 Cutlass, but I ended up selling that. But it wasn't the 442, and I want to, that's what I want is a 442. And, you know, I want a, a Silverado, a, a, you know, a decked out Silverado. I want, you know, it's like I want, there's cars I want, the cars I dream about, but... You know, it's just bikes to me. Bikes are like the the best thing ever to me. It became my whole world. When I got on one, I started riding. I couldn't st stop thinking about it nonstop. Loved every minute of it. Loved just everything about it. You know, every time you get on, you know, I took trips out from Detroit. Well, now I just exposed myself. The unknown is the Detroit area. I'm from the Detroit area. But anyways, I, took, I used to take trips out from Detroit to Chicago. I had to take trips to Grand Rapids, trips to the Upper Peninsula. And then one day I took my big trip out west, 7,500 miles. And you know, that's it, man. I just had, I had a great time. You can't beat, you can't beat a motorcycle. I swear, I just, it's nothing, nothing beats it on a nice day. And in country roads, I, I'm not a fan of fucking, oh, now we're in Beverly Hills. Ooh, Beverly Hills. Yeah, nothing beats, you know, getting out in the city. Not, I'm not a fan of riding in the city. It's, you know, in the suburbs, I don't, I, I like it, but it can get too congested. I've done it, and I get pissed off. I'll do it once in a while, you know, just to see, like, get the open world view of the city and the and the big buildings, the cool looking buildings, but other than that, you know, just the, just the country, you know, I've done, I've done forest areas, mountains, desert, you know, old towns, uh, you know, uh, tropical area, you know, I rode, I, I rented a bike in the Keys, you know, I've, I've, I've rode on a lot of landscapes, I'm pretty sure and there's a lot more landscapes I can ride in. Get your, do yourself a favor. 
you ever think about getting the bike, don't doubt yourself, get it. You know, go get go get the proper training first. Go do the go, go take go get your endorsement. Take the course. If you never rode before, if you never, you know, if you never, you know, rode or anything like that, do yourself a favor and go get your endorsement. That's something you gotta go do it, you know, wherever state you're in and take the class. Take the class and practice, practice, practice. You know, I made a few mistakes and I, I, I regret, but I learned from my mistakes, you know, and all that. And I'll tell you, if you if you ever think about it, just do it. Don't let, don't let the motorcycle world go down. It's, there's been talk about people, less people want to ride now, and the new generation about the bat, don't really care for it. Don't let it die. Just don't let the don't let that die at all. Let it ride out. Let it keep going. Oh Jesus Christ. They, they want to go now and they saw that the road was fucking closed. Not just one, but both of them. Yeah well. Well anyways, I'm gonna my words of wisdom and my history which not really that much words of wisdom, just fucking rambling of uh, of a guy wearing a mask. You know, I, I take it what you want, but like I said, you got the opportunity, do it. Just go out and do it. Do it. Do it. All right. And that being said, I'm gonna sign off on this day. It's a little bit of a hotter day, but it's cooling down and the wind's picking up. So I'll catch you guys next time. See ya!